All right, guys. Hey, what's up? We have another Streets of New Capano set booster box brought to us by our fine sponsors of myself, my assistant, and uh, shout out to Zest Kalara too as well. Thank you so much for the supplies. All right, so this is uh, another of our box. So here we go. So same thing, same deal. Gala greeters with every booster box you get. Doesn't matter if it's draft or set. Uh -huh. And there's 30 packs in here. We're looking at list cards. It seemed like early videos seem to have like really high pull rates of valuable cards but of course as of today value has gone down okay here we go guys all right and this is the japanese version cool 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 because japanese version is usually has a a nicer feel to the uh the packs here so we're gonna begin we have the alternate ooh, the raf rafik of many hopefully we could pull the uh the stuff like that okay all right, here we go. Let's start with a bang with our first wear incandescent Aria and a foil quick draw dagger. And here is our list card is one of the secret layers. Othaum Sigardian Outcast. Othaum, Othaum, however you say that first name. Okay, so our first list card, there we go. And it looks like my assistant <laughs> took a pack Hey, you have to show it over here. Hello. Or else people are not going to believe you pulled that etch foil obnixilis. I got here. Did you show it? Come on. What did you get? Okay. So, all right. There's the list card. Okay, let's show the, the cards that she pulled here. She sneakily grabbed the pack over here. I didn't even notice until she was opening over there. And we just want to show what we got. And look, she got a Misho's Charm. And for her rare is a Undercover Operative with a foil Mage Attendant. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna open one more okay. and it's your turn. Now. Okay, don't forget to open it over in the camera so people will believe what you, you opened up. While you're doing that, I'm gonna open mine, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. So we got here a, all right, the, and here's our lamb. Watch out, excuse me. Okay. You're in the way. Um, okay. Ready? Mesho Charm, Broker Charm, Cabaretti Charm. Ooh, the tr triple charms in this pack. And the Riveteer's Charm. I'm definitely gonna save that for later with a Mythic Falco Spara. Oh gosh, gonna get crazy here. And a Structural Assault with a Spars Adjudicator. And a list card, Tezzeret's Betrayal. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, please, please don't mess it up. Don't mess it up, hold on, hold on. What happened here? Okay, so she was opening her pack here. Sorry, guys. Here we go, Mr. Orferio. Okay, let's go. Quiza. Cool. And Obscura Charm, I'll save that. And her rare is a Obscura Ascendancy. Cool. Okay, here is our Rowell. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Let's just fix this up real quick again. Hey, hey, you have to open over here. My, my girl. I'm not gonna open it yet. You're, she's messing up my, my flow here, you know? I don't know what's going on. Oh, sorry guys, give me a sec here to fix this real quick. Okay, back 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 to what we were trying to do this will be the last one okay because i have to make this uh, video quick okay mm -hmm. but hello where's are you gonna open the back here or not okay all right i have to help you it's gonna because it's a lot of packs yeah okay and we have a commander mythic here cross defense contractor okay and our Rare is Spara's Headquarters, so the showcase Tryland. Very nice, nice. 
and a cut your losses for another rare. And look at, ooh, Cabaretti charm in its nice foilness. Very cool. Okay, right here's the front. Okay, mm. here, here. Ready? One, okay. two, three, go. Go. Okay. She got the land. Here you go. A boba uh, tar. Two boba parts. Tars. Okay, at the same time? Okay. Ooh. And we're getting to the rare soon. And here we got three. Three of them. All right, Evelyn the Covetus. Look at this. Yeah, that's a foil. Broker snitch it. Okay. Oops. Doggy, you want a doggy here? Bye bye. Okay. Okay, your turn. Dad. Okay, thank you. Let I me, thought that was your last one. No, let me help you. Okay, okay I have to go fast. Or Wait. else no one's going to watch the video. We're taking forever. Hurry, Excuse me. Go, 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 go. Excuse me. Okay. okay. Where do you put the other cards? How can you teach me? Okay, hold on. Wait for me while we open one at a time. Maestro's Diabolus is our rare here. And widespread thieving with a foil strangle. Okay, treasure token. Excuse, excuse, excuse. Okay, see, I have to fix everything. Oh my goodness. What's that? Ooh, look at that. Luxoria. Hopefully, we could. That's a cool card. Oh, I want this. Okay. All right. There. Okay. Last pack, okay? And then I, I could take care of it, all right? But, oh, Maestro's I want charms. Oh, look at that. She opened up a Elspeth Resplendent, our another mythic. Can I, I put it there first, please, okay. so we can show everyone? And our last card is Remorseless Punishment from Oath of the Gatewatch. And once again, she strikes with the mythics. I'm yeah, she always opens the, uh, the good mythics. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That just tells you she just should open everything, but man, we're gonna take forever here. <laughs> okay. All right, I don't know if we're at. I wanna go a little bit faster here so that we could keep it in a short amount of time since we have a good idea of the cards now. All right, and our rare is Cemetery Tampering with ooh, this is a foil showcase Riveteer's Charm. This is a regular foil. Ooh, love it. Love it. Love it. Definitely gonna put that in the gonna use it in my dex pile. Okay. Um I don't know how many packs are ready. I think we are kind of one-thirds into here already. So let's try to speed it up. Okay. No, it's okay, my girl. I got it. Oh, more Riveteer's charms. It's good to keep any uh, amount of those. Endless Detour, the bat version, and a foil mass bandits. Okay. All right. The only thing about these Japanese um, cards is they're slippery, so it's okay. We will keep it organized. Okay, we have a foil mountain. All right. And we got a corpse explosion with a foil Quiza, Quag Aguar of Agonies. Some pretty good, uh, well, a good amount of the, um, the gold cards in this set are good for limited. I don't know if you guys have played um, draft or sealed, especially on arena. If you haven't gone at your LGSs, how has your experience been on Arena? Okay. Overall, the set, in my opinion, in Limited is, uh, I like it. You know, it's, um, I'm a multicolor kind of uh, player when it comes to Limited. Some of my friends do know that. So we got a Mythic All Searing Arbiter. Probably one of the few that will or go into multiple colors. I mean, it's a good thing, it's a bad thing. You know, I think it's it's fun. All right. It's fun playing all the different colors and just uh, going at it. Not limited to just a few colors. So here we have a Hargode. 
Kindly Rune Enchanter. Another of those Secret Lair cards. Okay. Okay. And there's a spot of murder. So in one limited um draft I did on Arena, I was able to pick up four murders and that deck was a gen deck. And it just went off. <laughs> so much removal. It's crazy. Ertai. Errant, sorry, Street Artist in the showcase. And we do get another mythic here. It's Jetmere, Nexus of Revels, with a foil waterfront district. Cool. So we do get another mythic here. Um, just the way it's going, I think we have a good amount of mythics that are being poured out at the moment. Uh, and we are probably close to half of the box. So that's always a good sign. Um, I've seen mythic pulls from varying from what, like five to 10, I believe, from other set booster boxes that others have shown here on YouTube. So we'll see where we land here. Double like gorilla, you know, and that's an annoying card in limited. Okay. Evolving door. Did we get anything? Yeah, like it. Oh, besides like arrow. Okay. All right. Evolving door, huh? And okay, this is a signature, not one of those, um, just a gold stamp. Cool, cool. Infantrator, and we have another commander boxing ring. Is this card any good? Wire taping. This card, oh, I love it. Oh, look at this exquisite blood for our list pool. So this used to be around $30, $40. I don't know how much it is now, but that's a pretty good list pool with our foil widespread thieving. Let's put that in the side. Cool. That was a, that was a cool pack. Cool, cool, cool. With the wire tamping, wire taping, I mean. Okay, so again, we have um, a really good amount of uh, list cards here. Mythics, hopefully we continue the streak of opening more. And it's been a while since we got a full art land. So there's that. All right. And Jenny Faye, Jetmere second with a foil graveyard shift. Jenny Faye. You guys are down to play with those token decks. Turn them into some 2-2 uh, two -two green cats or 3-1 green dog. Whichever fits your flavor. Are you a cat lover? Are you a dog lover? Both, maybe? Okay. And uh, let's go. Um, incandescent Aria for our showcase rare. What does it do? Three damage to non-token to each non-token creature. Okay, and mythic titan of industry. So it's not that land producing uh, enchantment, uh, but it'll be cool to pull. All right, so uh, some value. So again, there we are with our mythic so far. Pretty good pull rate. Uh, we're just about one thirds left. Okay. And uh, of course, appraiser. Okay. Fleetfoot Dancer for our rare and another foil. Park Heights Pegasus. Nothing crazy. Just uh, social. Social. A social, social card. Only social. Very social. Okay. We only got one triumph so far. That was a showcase, hoping maybe we could pull a couple more, though I don't see people really running a play set of those or anything, so. But always good to pull for future long term. And we got a getaway card with a high rise saw jack. And another list card, the Whisper Still Dagger. Don't know from what set. I don't know. 
don't know. Okay, let me just check here. Three, six, nine, ten. Okay, yeah, so now we're down to the last ten packs. Exactly one thirds left. Let's go, Mythics. Okay, here. All right. Exotic pets, huh? Animation Charm, Showcase, and a Shakedown Heavy. Well, I'm kind of intrigued with this card. I wouldn't mind trying it in Modern. Um, I mean, just, just for flavor. And the usual Aravax, Arvinox, the Mind Flare. Are you guys uh, excited for the new Stranger Things season coming up? Season four? Pretty soon? No, not really? No one? Anyone watch it? I do. It's pretty cool. Uh, so use for that show to be coming out like around more closer to Halloween, I guess, for the fall season, but it looks like it's an earlier release. All right. And there we go. Rafine's Tower, our second triumph with a foil glamorous outlaw. Glamorous. G-L-A-M-O-R-O-U-S. Not fabulous, but glamorous. If you ain't got no money, take your broke ass home, she said. <laughs> okay. Foil. Mountain. And we got a Horde Hauler with a foil Caldea. Strong arm. All right. Okay. Raffine's Tower. Two. So let's go. Maybe we could pull maybe two more mythics here. That would be sweet. Some Obnixilis. Obnixilis would be nice. And we have a Regal Streetwise Mentor with a Quiza Augur of Agonies for our foil. Actually, I haven't been checking if it's one of those gilded ones, but looks like they're just regular foils here. Okay, slowing down a little bit with a few packs left. Booyah, booyah, booyah from Patuya. Uh, slowing down. No, I'm going faster. <laughs> no, okay, so another of those commander cards Tenacious, Tenacious Truce, I mean, and a Straction Specialist. Okay, Forge Boss. When I was first seeing that, I thought that said Final Boss. Now you gotta take the time and to really read the card and not just say random things out of your mind. Forge Boss, not Final Boss. Okay, got it, good. All right, Joe Thief. Good limited card too as well. All right, Caporetti Charm and Scheming Fence. With a foil tramway station. Ah, oh, I was hoping it could have been potentially a tr foil triumph. Okay, Mythics, where are you? Here I am. Here I am. Okay, where? Here, Obs. Come on, Obs, where are you at? Okay, and uh, depopulate. Board sweeper <laughs> and racer string for the foil. Okay, he doesn't want to show up. Obnix, so this doesn't want to show up. But well, what's so special about it? I don't know. Maybe just the fact that you could casualty a Tarmogoyf to him, her, and get a potential if you have a fully powered Tarmogoyf. Seven loyalty points on the casualty token. I uh, heard that from a friend. <laughs> Cabaretti Ascendancy for our rare and a Midnight Assassin for our foil and our doggy. Last two packs, guys. All right, okay. Okay, and I think we finally got a foil for art and it's a, a force. 
All right, and oh, Cabaret Charm and a Zyatoros Proving Ground for another Triumph. All right, that is three Triumphs in total. Let's go, last pack. Last pack is a Mythic, hopefully. I don't know, who knows? And look at that, Obnixilis in his business suit. Like, what's up, man? What you wanna do? Okay, Obscurus Charm, and Fight Rigging with a, an Expendable Lackey to finish it off. All right, so to just kind of briefly recap, uh, we did get a really good list card. I just don't know what the value of Exquisite Blood is now. It could still be around $30. Uh, we got three Triumphs, one of them being a Showcase. We did get uh, Elspeth as a Planeswalker with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six mythics. One of them being a, um, was it a Commander Mythic? Yeah. Anyways, overall, cool, cool box still, you know. Um, nothing crazy, crazy. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that box opening. Like, subscribe, unlike so you can like it again. And hope to see you in my other videos. Later, guys. Peace.